I need a favor. Can you drive me around and pretend to be my chauffeur this afternoon? Wait, you want me to drive one of your cars? I gotta be classy today. Now that I've got money, I'm gonna buy some art from the kind of collectors who have chauffeurs. Come pick me up at the museum. I've been doing some research so I can blow them away. Be right there. Tell you apart! Yeah. Yeah. So what are we buying? Three Nashoni Fisher pieces. She's my hero. She made these amazing whimsical sculptures, sheet metal welded over steel frames. I promised myself that if I ever had money, I'd buy some of her work. Now keep quiet. I'm gonna call the first collector. Hello. Ah, good afternoon. I was told you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher original. Surprise. Huh? It's a big metal apple with a rattlesnake coming out of it. Ah, that piece of junk. Well, I'm a huge fan of the artist and can make you a very attractive offer. Ah, there is no amount of money in the world you could offer me for that. My ex-husband bought it as an investment, and it drives him nuts that I got it in the divorce. You cannot buy that kind of spite. <laughs> but... He hung up on me. Well, we could just take it. I don't want to take it. I want to buy it. This is my chance to be part of the art world. Legit. Look, if she didn't want to sell it because she actually loved it, it'd be one thing. She doesn't even like it. You do. Why should she get to keep it despite you? I mean, this art is meant to be appreciated. Okay, let's get it. I'm good.
That won't fit in the trunk. We're gonna have to tow it. Ah, it is made out of steel. Just drive careful, okay? This is not how I expected my first big art purchase to go. Let's get the next one. And this time, we'll do it right. Yes? Hi, I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece? Music of the Desert. The cactus statue. Yes. Well, like yourself, I am a collector of fine art, and I would like to buy the piece from you. I'm prepared to pay what it's worth. Oh, I don't need the money, hon. I I'm sure you don't, but... But I do need the cactus. Oh, it makes a great place to hang the kids' swimsuits on summer days. Uh, sorry. What the fuck? You're gonna rust out the frame hanging with shit on it. That's not how you treat art. So, we'll be taking this one as well? <sighs> Looks like. It's all rusted out, just like I thought. I need to be extra careful driving or it'll fall apart. I guess not everybody actually appreciates art, even in the art world. Too easy.
Two down, one to go. This time, we do it right for sure. Heidi, Heidi. Yes, hello. I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece, Moon River. It's a cow. Wait, what? That thing? Oh my god. Me and my sorority sisters stole it from outside the Santo Aliso Community Center in college. I was so drunk, I threw up on it. Ugh. Oh, fuck it. We're stealing this one, too. Ay, this piece is really fragile. Try not to destroy it on the way home, okay? No word. We interrupt your broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted fleeing the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay. Good news, we're part of the art world. Bad news, as art thieves. Fuck that, we are art liberators. Now drive. This cow handles like shit. We're in possession of a stolen cow! Surrender! Fuck off! My friend wants this cow! Look, Nina! Pigs chasing a cow! Get it? Not chasing us anymore. Must not want a war with the saints over some asshole's cow. I'm really sorry that didn't go down the way you wanted. Nah, those people weren't really art collectors. They were just assholes. I'll make it into the art world for real soon enough. At least I've got the Fisher pieces I always wanted. And I'm gonna treat them right. I mean, once I repair all the damage, we did liberating them. Dark turn. This rules. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Totally. <laughs> so true. So true. My whole wardrobe is purple now. We gotta keep the money flowing in.
check out this prime real estate. We've got a Max, Sunstroke Video, the grocery store, and in the middle of it all, our very own laundromat. Sure, we wash clothes here, but we also offer full service crime scene cleanup. You know, for people who don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Winston here's the best. When I first moved into our old place, he cleaned all the blood stains out of that carpet. He is a master. Hey, Winston, you got everything you need? Sure do, boss. We got disinfectants, solvents, three kinds of acid, anything you might need to make a crime look like it never happened. Awesome. And the crew's ready? They're a little green around the horns, but they know what to do. Well, if things get complicated, I'm just a phone call away. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. Call me later, all right? All right, so here's the plan. We open a monster taqueria and call it Chalupa Cabra. But we don't just sell food. We take over the entire drug distribution network in Santo Ileso. Here, it's all about the food trucks. My friend Chuy knows the business inside and out. And he makes a killer michelada. He'll show you how it works. All the traffic in town moves through four trucks. Weenie, Twisty, Sammy and the King. Nothing a few rockets and a Molotov can't fix. True. Or we could steal each truck and all its product and put it to work for us. Even better. Where do these guys roll? I've got Jimmy following the King right now. I'll put you in touch. I, hate this. I could offer up my phone, but. Well, then your ass is lying too. <laughs> hey, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll meet y'all at home. Okay. We got the name, we got the space. We got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. 
So we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. Guns work. Sounds good. So the idols hide their stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah! yourself. Anyone else need ammo? Hey, you neon assholes. We're here to steal back the codex you stole after it was stolen from other people. Yards. at the bottom of those stairs. Nice one. And it's clear sailing from here to there. Let's go get it.
They locked us in. Congratulations on proving your own predictability. Toad's predictable. That's not the Codex. It's another fake and a bomb. It's okay. I can disarm this. Probably. Martial training, martial training. Got it. <sighs> Those fuckers almost fucked us up. And we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the Codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah! I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. Where would they have taken it? They didn't just move the codex. They emptied this whole place. So how do you empty a boathouse? Of course! The Collective's yacht! It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. Then that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. This is gonna be an epic statement. That yacht's guarded AF. Dude! Did you just say AF? Yeah, it's an abbreviation. First, we fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF, as fuck, same number of syllables. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every last one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! We're gonna want a different way back. It would suck to get the Codex wet. No worries. Call home for a ride. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you two crazy? Let me see who I can find. Maybe try those jumps? We can use those ramps to get onto the yacht. We're gonna need a lot of speed to get the jet ski onto the yacht. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fail, fail! Jump! They had no chance. Let's go find the codex. Sorry, did you think you were safe here? Oh, 
bet. We're here to take what we want, just like you used to. Nina sent me with the chopper. I'll just hover over till you're ready to go. You tell everybody the Saints took your prize. Be trapped again I'm getting really tired of diffusing these things at the pink wire got it fucking fucks they nearly blew us up again I say we return the fucking favor hells yeah I got the codex let's get this bomb to the bridge It's hot! Run! Ha! <laughs> we got the Codex, planted a bomb, and are gonna get away clean on our own helicopter. Now that's a statement. Trap ourselves on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell. Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna stuff your helmet and hang it on my wall. Die like the sky! Six collective members down. We should probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Good call. Ah, oh, shit. Holy shit. Just keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. Whew. Things got a little crazy over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening to us? I don't know. 
Prison riots, derailing trains, it's almost enough to make you question your old way of- Look out! Idols on jet skis with machine guns! Let's fuck them up. Hells yeah! I'm gonna head for home! You give them a reason not to follow us. Okay, F, losers! Ah. Ah. Oh. That went better than I expected. Oh. now so what were we saying huh when just now before the jet skis and stuff uh probably that we were awesome stole the codex and fucked up collective hq yeah i'm sure that was it talk about a goddamn statement hells yeah buddy hells yeah with the saints no one i said who messes with the saints no one you're goddamn right no one the saints aren't a flash in the pan we're here to stay <laughs> the four of us founded the saints but it belongs to all of us it belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come, you just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. The anarchists are in a state of chaos, huh? Who could have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. This is... okay. I don't mind the heat, as long as it ain't humid. That's the last time I'll follow that damn jeep.
think should go camping in the desert. I could go all day. That rash is clearing up.
Hey, Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Hey, you ball. Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <laughs> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshal interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. They'll fight a war of red tape. We need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm going to fucking kill Atticus. Saw that coming. But that won't solve our problem. It'll solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm going to fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. You have called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. Oh, what do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press one. For billing, press two. For the complaints department, press three. Oh, finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press one. To leave a message, press two. To leave a death threat, press three. Fuck you, three. Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. See? Dried words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our heads to get out of this one. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first so everyone can calm down and then you can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow, you know you two are being enablers right now. Looks like the gang's all here. Yeah, too easy. We're here. Let's bust in and make our way to the top floor. That's where shithead's office is. Nice 
one. You give us our criminal empire back! Much as I love to see Atticus fight his own battles with us, that is not a stop. Then we take the elevator straight to him. Ah! I'm moving in. Don't go cut red tape. Ah! Stay here with the crew and hold off any reinforcements. Copy that. Stay safe. Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him. You could just shoot him. Nah, I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? <sighs> kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We're not waiting years. Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security lockdown. We're on foot from here. Welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. What may I help you with? Oh, this shit again? I'm here to kill Atticus Marshall. Do you have an appointment? Get fucked? I'm not seeing a get fucked in our system. May I get you a tea or coffee? I'll see myself then. Attention, Marshall employees. Please proceed to the emergency exits. Don't move. Ah! Ah! All personnel, please exit the building in an orderly fashion. Ah! Please find the nearest emergency exit. Won't take us years to get through it this way. We're not actually getting through. <sighs> Welcome to Marshall. Shit, it's a trap. There's snipers on the upper floor. I should snipe them back. Sure no one follows you. Hey, if you get any downtime, search the legal files and documents of the acquisition. See? 
Won't take us years to get through it this way. We're not actually getting through. <sighs> Shit, it's a trap. There's snipers on the upper floor. I should snipe them back. They have no chance. Take those snipers out! Nice one. Make sure no one follows you. Hey, if you get any downtime, search the legal files for documents on the acquisition. the desks. Someone always leaves their key card at work. Why can't I just shoot it? That's not how it works. I told you, you can't just shoot your way through all your problems. Ugh, fine. No key card here. a key card. There is an incoming call from Atticus Marshall. So, did you really think you could just waltz into my building and take your little seat back? <laughs> this assault is nothing more than a temper test. You go ahead. Shoot whomever you like. I'll rehire. Destroy the whole fucking building. I'll rebuild. And it won't change. I'll still own you. Because I have more lawyers than you have bullets. In the end, I will win. I will always win. Looks like this elevator's the only way up. So let's go. here either.
told you so. You told me I'd find one in a desk. I had to murder this guy to get it. I guess we're both right. Shall we go? You don't look- Welcome to the Marshal Executive Floor. Intruders located. Putting them down. Well, shit. I do that. And shoot the pack. Ready for Atticus's last stand? You go on. I'll see if I can find anything useful in here. Do it yourself. I'm coming, motherfucker. Atticus, you son of a bitch! Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus, and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them, too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board, and I'll scratch your back real good. So... how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal.
How's it hanging, boss? Make my sandwich with double meat, double cheese, double bread. Fine. Not a single person has complimented my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> 